what's up guys so in this video i will be doing a little vlog so i'm gonna allow you guys to follow me along on my journey i'm gonna show you what a typical day uh working for amazon looks like in montreal canada in the winter so um you know hopefully i'll be able to film a bit now i'm not gonna film a lot because uh, it could be time consuming and i want to finish my shift as early as possible um so i i um first thing i did when i got here i got my key i got my my phone so i will be using the work phone because i vlog with my personal phone i usually use my personal phone because it's a lot quicker to scan um but today i will be using the work phone so first thing i have to do is i have to sign into the amazon app and um and then I'm, we're gonna load up so i'm gonna try to film a bit um of um myself loading up the the van as well and yeah so uh follow me along on this journey so here's what it looks like in the garage a bunch of amazon vans um peeps so this is um these vans are the people on my team so actually when you work for amazon you work for a, a dsp company so you, so technically you don't work for with uh, for amazon directly but you work for an independent company that is partnered with amazon so uh, right now we're just waiting for our team meeting so all these vans are are parked in front just waiting and uh, we have a team meeting every morning um before we go out they just tell us basically what we're doing well what we're doing wrong um sometimes they they share like uh like bonus like sometimes they'll, they'll offer bonuses sometimes they'll uh, uh they'll reward certain people that are doing very well so um so yeah we have team meetings every morning before we go out and so i'm, I'm not going to film that because i don't want to get in trouble for filming um but yeah i just wanted to uh share with you guys a, a bit of how uh what is the procedure the whole procedure of uh, how the day starts okay, so we're going towards the um the loading spot whenever you're driving inside the garage you have to um put your blinkers on and roll your windows down and drive only eight kilometers uh, per hour and don't ever vlog or film while you're driving so now we're waiting for the horns uh, in order for us to get out and load our vans i'm going to show you guys a bit what it looks like oh i have to be cautious because i don't want to get caught filming but we, we, uh, there you go all right so you hear those horns that means that it's time for us to load out or load in whatever you want to call it and i'm going to set up my camera here so you guys can take a look. So I didn't film the whole process because I didn't want to get caught filming because uh, my camera was very visible and uh, actually uh, one of the managers actually came in my van. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe he wanted to check that my uh, engine was off because uh, actually uh, he told me to stop my engine. I don't know if you guys saw in the footage, but uh, he, he told me to turn off my engine because you got to turn off your engine uh, when you're loading in. Whenever you're not in the, van, in the car, uh, in the garage, you have to turn off your engine. Um, so yeah, I didn't film the whole things and I'm glad I didn't because um, he ended up coming inside my van so he didn't see the, I, I removed the camera before he saw it. So yeah, anyways, that's why I didn't film the whole thing. But here's what it looks like, guys. Uh, my van looks pretty packed. Um, my van was actually so packed that I wasn't able to put all the boxes in and uh, some of the dispatchers, they took uh, the remaining boxes that couldn't fit inside. So this is what it looks like, guys. So it seems pretty overwhelming. Um, I mean, but that's what you could expect after a month of um, driving with Amazon. You're going to have uh, a bunch of boxes and a bunch of uh, bags. Um, and I'm in a neighborhood that I've never been. So I'm a bit worried because some neighborhoods I'm familiar with, I'm comfortable with. But this neighborhood is the first time I'm in this neighborhood. I don't know why they sent me here. But I'm very worried because I see a lot of stairs. 
and the worst thing that could happen is that you're in a neighborhood where there's a lot of stairs and you have to <laughs> do a lot of exercise you're gonna be going up and down the stairs i don't know how it is where you guys live but here in montreal there are certain neighborhoods that look like this and if you find yourself in a neighborhood like this um you better like doing exercise because you're gonna be sore at the end of the day but um so we'll see how it goes um i'm trying to i'm gonna try to vlog as much as i can but at the same time you know i don't want to stay out here um on too long i want to finish as fast as possible um and i'm also not too sure what to show you guys so but uh, let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see during my day um you know i don't want to show you guys uh, how i organize my packages again because i already did a video on that but um oh also remember when you guys what you guys saw in the video i placed the first bags on top of the racks i placed them in the back as you could see right why because the ones at the back um are the ones that i will be delivering last right so the, the 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 bags that were at the bottom are the ones that i put in the front because these are the ones that i'll be delivering first and i'll be organizing each one removing the bags putting the envelopes in here sorry my jacket is in there but put the envelopes in here and uh yeah so if you guys want to know how to organize packages go watch my video i did a video on that and so yeah there there it is and um so continue following along on my journey I'll show you guys a bit on how the app works. So as you can see here, they give you information on the package. I'm gonna blur out the uh, personal information there. But what you have to focus on is the number 6283 and then find it on the package, 6283. And then you're simply gonna drop it at the address. So once you're at the address, you say I've parked. Um, then they, they're gonna have a note here. As you can see here, it says, please knock on a door. The ring bell does not always work. So you have to follow those instructions. Most of the time there are no notes. So you just could drop it in front. And then you're gonna have to scan it so on your way to the um uh, to the door i i suggest that you scan it to save some time um they tell you not to scan in the van but i don't know if um it makes a difference or not um so yeah i did want to show you guys that look at uh, uh, this is how i set i organize my packages so i put my boxes in between my seats and i organize the, the envelopes here they're all in numerical order too so i can know where they are and uh, like i said over and over organizing is essential to this job if you don't organize you're going to spend a lot of time uh on the road and delivering packages so organize guys watch my video on how to organize and there it is I'm gonna show you guys the benefits of organizing your packages. So look, as you can see, um, all my packages are right beside me. Um, the next two packages are at two different addresses. You see, you see 6286 and, where's the other number? 6285, you see? 6286 and 6285. And my packages are right here. And since I have them in order, I have you here, 6285 and 6286 so i don't have to search everywhere for where they are they're right here all in order and i could just grab them go out drop it at the door and that's it now it looks like my second door is a staircase as well so that's not a good sign i really hope uh this is uh not going to be all day going up and down the stairs because that is not a fun experience unless you're really motivated to to lose weight uh, i guess we have to look at the bright side right it's good exercise and uh good cardio so <laughs> all right guys so it's about 3 13 um like maybe almost halfway done um as you can see uh today's gonna be a pretty long day compared to the usual it's um yeah as you can see i still have one two three four five six seven bags left and so i just wanted to give you guys an update because um i really don't know what to film i don't know what to show you guys basically i'm driving around delivering packages it started snowing as you can see so um i'm about to deliver some packages in that building right there so uh that's pretty much what a day a day in the life as an amazon driver looks like you're, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this a lot of uh driving around going in and out of buildings 
and that's pretty much it uh so today i'm doing a pretty slow pace i feel kind of lazy slept late last night so um yeah i don't know what time i'm gonna finish but uh i think i'm on a, a good track um but as you can see i still have quite a bit more to go so just giving you guys a little little update so right now i'm in some type of warehouse where i have to walk in a whole labyrinth i don't know if that's the word in english labyrinth <laughs> um for i had to drop the package at the door so sometimes they'll give you instructions to go all the way in which is kind of annoying um, but you do have to follow the instructions on the notes if not you get uh, caught sorry i stopped filming because uh, there was somebody there so it's kind of embarrassing to uh, vlog <laughs> in public um so yeah so today i'm getting a lot of businesses so i have to uh you know go in the businesses and sometimes it could be a lot more time consuming so today might be one of the longest days i've had so far all right guys finally finished delivering all my packages it's super dark it's been a long day it's 7 30 right now and uh plus i gotta go do a rescue i gotta help one of my colleagues who is way behind so this is definitely one of the longest days i've had so far Usually I finish around 5, well, and I usually I deliver my packages by 5 p.m. And right now it's 7.30 p.m. Why? Uh, many reasons. First of all, I was tired, so I didn't run. I didn't rush. I was walking, pretty much cruising all day long. Also, uh, this is a neighborhood I've never done before, so I'm not familiar with it. I made a couple wrong turns. And as you can see on the street here, these streets are super narrow, which means that if there's a car behind me, I... So I'm not sure if it was filming. Another thing is these streets are super narrow, meaning that if there's a car behind me, I cannot stop. I could, but I'm gonna cause a big traffic and like, it kind of stresses me out. So I always try to find a place where cars could pass by. And so it's been a really long day, guys. So, you know, hopefully you guys don't have too many days like this, but this is probably one of the longest days ever since i've been working with amazon and plus i gotta i gotta go do a rescue so i'm at the end of my shift so i'm back at the garage as you can see this is what it looks like now i just gotta drop off the bags and then i could finally go home oh, my head God. south then in 200 meters turn left onto 12e avenue so there it is guys that's the end of my shift it's been a long day it's 8 30. um yeah so hope you enjoyed the vlog god bless you and i'll see you in the next video